Hello viewers, hope you all are doing great. In continuation to ongoing chemical properties of lipids on my channel Food Site, today I am going to discuss a very important phenomenon of fats and oils that is rancidity and this concept is important from examination point of view and industrial point of view as well. So let's begin. First of all, let's understand what do we mean by rancidity. As represented here, when oils and fats are stored, they may undergo changes in their flavor that is changes in their taste and aroma and thus the fat is said to be deteriorated and this phenomenon of deterioration is known as rancidity. Now the question arises, what's the chemical process involved in rancidity? The chemical process involved as mentioned here is auto oxidation. What does the name suggest? Auto that means self oxidation that fats are undergoing oxidative changes by itself. And why it is called so? As the rate of oxidation increases as reaction proceeds. Now there are two types of rancidity hydrolytic and oxidative. Let's understand both of these one by one. Hydrolytic, what does the name suggest? That means fats are undergoing hydrolysis and deterioration of fat due to hydrolysis is of primary concern in case of dairy product. So what happens? Naturally present lipase in dairy products when acts on fats, it leads to their hydrolysis producing short chain fatty acids, for example, butyric acid. So what's the issue here? These short chain fatty acids are particularly perceived by the sensory buds present over our tongue. So overall what happens? The deterioration in terms of taste and odor is because we taste individual fatty acids obtained by the hydrolysis of fats instead of triglycerides themselves. So this phenomenon is known as hydrolytic rancidity. Now let's understand what is oxidative rancidity. It's clear from the name that oxidation of fats leads to oxidative rancidity. Now we need to understand what happens actually. Under warm and moist conditions, ester linkages of fats get hydrolyzed and fatty acids so obtained undergo oxidation leading to oxidative rancidity. Of course, the unsaturated fatty acids are more susceptible to oxidation. In the process of oxidation, initially peroxides are formed, which in turn with due time break down into hydrocarbons, aldehydes and ketones. So that's all about rancidity and its types. Stay tuned with Food Cyto for more such concepts and learning in a simplified manner. And if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you for listening.